We have a couple new revelations from the CEO of SafeMoon. This is John Caroni through social media, which includes both Discord as well as Twitter. And it does raise an interesting question of what we could be seeing happen next. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you guys to go do your own research. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. First up here is shared by Safe Moon Knight. This is actually coming from Discord, where John Crony, the CEO of Safe Moon, had responded. Xmas poem DeFi Atman says, Thank you to John for always making sure Safe Moon delivers. John Crony responded by saying, Team is working diligently to deliver. Team member was on the phone yesterday with card manufacturer. I was on the phone with legal, talking through the legal items needed for the centralized exchange. And Serge had responded to this saying, this should have been done months ago, not last minute. No? All right. So let me go ahead and share my thoughts on this at first. Um, taking a look at this, we have the card, which was looking to come out back around March or so, but that was delayed due to the security system, that SOS, the Safe Moon Orbital Shield. And now that that Safe Moon Orbital Shield is going through a lot of beta testing, essentially the second time now, I think it's getting very close to actual delivery. So just going through the final checks on everything, making sure that this stuff is indeed ready to go, handling all the processing orders, etc. It would make sense to me that they're going to be doing additional work as we get closer and closer to that. Yes, there is work that could have been done before, which I think is very likely that they did do. But does that mean that there was nothing left at all? And it's just like, oh, just go. Like, no, I would expect that there's going to still be some communication, still, still figuring out those placement orders, et cetera. So there's that element, right? Then it goes on here. I was on the phone with legal talking through the legal items needed for the centralized exchange. I would hope as he's talking about the legal items needed for this, I would hope that that's just, again, sort of confirming things because if he hasn't been applying for these uh, money transmitter license, money service business license this whole last year, then that's frankly really disappointing and it's kind of concerning to me about just how they're handling things. I don't think that's the case, though, because I learned about the money transmitter license and the money uh, service business license because John Caroni mentioned it. He mentioned those two things. And then I looked up what they are, et cetera. How long does it kind of take to get those things to pass through? I found one example. I did a video about this in the past. So it'd be kind of surprising to me that like John Caroni knows about these things, yet just never actually filed them. I don't think that's the case. I think that he did file them. And it's just, again, those final checks going through, making sure that everything is ready to go. It's been a crazy year, and we've seen some huge, huge falls inside the market space. Look at FTX, for example. If I was in John Caroni's shoes, and I'm getting ready to launch my own exchange, a centralized exchange, after what just happened with FTX, I would be more concerned. I would be wanting to make sure that everything is as safe and legitimate and trusted as possible. That would be me personally. I can only assume that that's the same point of view that John Crony is going to be having trying to go into this. There's a lot on the line. So a couple other key things. Safe Moon Warrior shared this, again, also coming from Discord, where it says, burn, why stake? John Crony responded by saying, we'll do the poll again after we release the next Safe Moon swap innovation Please go and do the poll on Twitter. So what's interesting about this is that, yes, there is one poll. It's an official poll now. I per I personally voted for uh, staking. John Crony had posted saying, should we do a staking pool or burn for future product volume? For example, the SafeMoon card, the SafeMoon swap, the SafeMoon exchange, etc. What do you think? And so the community is able to vote on this. There's less than one day left. I'll have a link to this poll in the description. So if you guys want to go cast your vote, you guys can. But going back, right, we talked a little bit about this yesterday, although we didn't show this specific poll. Um, to be fair, didn't have this poll up. He just kind of was fielding questions out on social media. Now this is an official poll, so I'll have a link to this. But in regards to this poll, this right here again 
We'll do the poll again after we release the next SafeMoon swap innovation. Please go and do the poll on Twitter. So he's going to be doing the poll more than once, which I don't know, um, kind of a little weird, but maybe has something to do with the next SafeMoon swap innovation. What is it that we were told about before for the SafeMoon swap that we're still waiting on to see if they're going to deliver? The big key thing is cross-chain. Now, with that, keep in mind, December 19th is coming up, and that's going to be the end of P SafeMoon, which is SafeMoon that exists on the Ethereum network. That's coming to a conclusion. So where would the value come in with cross-chain? That would come in from the different SafeMoon swap partners and tokens that are just listed on the SafeMoon swap, where if you have something on the Binance Smart Chain side and you wanted to trade it for something on the Ethereum side or maybe on Polygon or Avalanche, something to that degree, right? That you would be able to do so very seamlessly. It's like, just choose the network, choose that token. Okay, go to the other network and that, and it handles everything through the swap on the back end, which would be amazing it would be such a beautiful nice feature to have a dap that can just handle those back end transactions and save you some steps right so with that keep in mind that the saving swap does have percentages <clears throat> that goes towards back into the safe moon swap ecosystem there's tokenomics that still comes into play um, so with that in mind possibly what they have for their next released innovation for the safe moon swap that could be something that sounds like it ties into the burn into the stake and they're allocating percentages off of that more towards one of those things and they just want to double check that with that new feature that that's what the community indeed actually wants so that's the only thing i can really think of off the top of my head of the new safe moon swap innovation but if you guys have any other ideas of what that could be, by all means, feel free to share with us down in the comments below. And that's basically what I got for you guys in this video. And uh, SafeMoon I just saying here, CEO connecting the dots between the SafeMoon card, the exchange, and legal items. Let's go. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to WeLoveSafeMoon.com. <clears throat> Excuse me. WeLoveSafeMoon.com, Victor Vegas and safe moon oz for being higher level patrons i really appreciate it guys also thank you to my youtube members for your support and lastly is i'll just tell you guys real quick i've been talking about this a lot in my other videos there is weeble they have stocks as well as cryptocurrencies and i've been using weeble for a while now if you'd like to get up to 12 free stocks you can use that referral link in the description below it's very simple. You open an account, you get two free fractional shares. If you deposit any amount, you receive between four to 10 free fractional shares. These are likely gonna be something around the range of $3 or $4, but they could go up to 300, 3,000 if you're quite lucky. And feel free to check that out, guys. Market is down, could be a good opportunity. It's there if you want to use it. Again, I do use Webull personally, and I like their tools, I like their service, but it's an option. I am not a financial advisor. Thank you guys so much. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, like button. God bless, and we will see you in the next episode.